Okay guys, so a little less than two months ago, this little gem popped up on one of my save search filters. The exact filter was Neo Genesis Hollow PSA 10. So I thought to myself, hey, I'm either going to buy this card and flip it right away for a good profit, or I'm going to purchase this card for an insanely low price and enjoy it in my collection for as long as I can. Well, it just so happens that today, it's sold. What is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Guys, we got another sales video for you. Um, I know that today's the day that's supposed to be kind of uh, deals of the day, but you know, sometimes the sales are flowing and I gotta let you guys know what's going on. Um, and, and also, we have a, we have a winner. For the, uh, the new position of the old wall of fire here. You guys voted and uh, the two contestants were Houndoom and the T-17. Um, they both got five each. Uh, the CP6 Charizard and PSA 10 got two votes. So it's down to either the Houndoom or the T17. And, you know, I, I got to make the executive decision. And because of one thing and one thing only, and that is the double swirl there, we're going to go with the T17, baby. So that's going to be the, uh, the new card in the background there. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Give some good shine. And then here's the reason why we're here, boys and girls. This, uh, this beauty sold. Let's talk about it here. Let's talk about it. Guys, I appreciate all of your support for the channel lately. You guys are just the best. That's all I'm gonna say. I have hands down the best subscribers on YouTube. So thank you guys so much. If you guys wanna uh, to join us, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button. In fact, we'll be giving away this bad boy here in about, what, 25 subscribers, guys? We're almost at 1,000. This is a heavy fossil pack, guys. It's about 21.45 grams. I'd bet my bottom dollar that this has a hollow in it. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to uh, to join, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. So here's the old T17. We just sold the Japanese version of this in a PSA 9 um, just the other day. And speaking of sales, guys, I, I have something to say here, and I'm very sorry to Yvonne. Yvonne actually ended up buying those three first edition Neo Genesis hollows in PSA 8. And I think I said Corey had purchased them. I got like 50 messages that day from <laughs> from all of you guys um, and your interest in buying the card. So thank you so much for, for supporting the channel. I did reach my collection goal, guys, and I will be showcasing that very soon here. So here's the card, guys. We have the first edition Neo Genesis Feraligator. It is not the Feraligator 5, it's the Feraligator 4. Alligator 5 is a much more expensive one, but nonetheless, this is actually my um, my preferred artwork. Now, I bought this in Jan on January 12th for $1,200, and I sold it today for $2,400. So, nice little nice little profit there, guys. Um, within a very short amount of time, and I think I'm. Is that a little swirl there maybe? Yeah, I think so. Not too sure. Um, I did sell this to Isaac over at All Cap No Facts. And uh, him and his buddy have a YouTube channel, guys. And um, anytime I, I click on new YouTubers, I'm always very like, you know, cautious, like, okay, what's their niche? You know, what's their thing? And I saw they open packs and they go, oh great, another pack opening channel. But these guys are actually hilarious. Like they're very unique, very original. Um, they do live streams and you know, I'll, I'll put their channel in the description below if you guys want to go check them out, but definitely funny um, and very different than anything else on YouTube, which I really appreciate. And really, I just want to share one last thing with you guys because I think that it's very important and really I'm going to be talking to anybody that's looking to make money in Pokemon. Like if you're just a pure collector where you do not buy and sell at all, you could probably just turn off this video, but for anybody out there that's looking to potentially get into you know, the selling market, um, or just wanting to learn a little bit more about how to find deals. The biggest advice that I can give to you guys um, is it's it's not about networking, although it's very important. It's not about learning how to negotiate, which again is a very important skill to learn. This was listed at a little bit higher and I was able to negotiate it down. But ultimately it's learning how to source a deal. Um, and it's putting in the time and the effort to sourcing that deal. Now you may be saying to yourself like, well, duh, dude, like, yeah, you put in the time and you know, you, you get the results, but <laughs> that's very vague. And if somebody were to told me, tell me that, I'd be like, well, how do I do that? Like, tell me the step-by-step -step process and how I do do that and how I do find the deals. And so here's something concrete for you guys and I'll make this as quick as possible. Um, 
every single day I log on to my email and I check all the saved searches that I get from eBay. Now, how to get all those emails is at the top, there's a little heart there where you could save that search. And once you do that, every single day you'll get a new email matching new listings that match that search criteria. And this is the stuff where you can start because it's all about how much time and effort I was able, I was willing to put into looking at these different save searches to get an idea of what the value of this card is. Yes, I was constantly looking at last sold, and if I don't know, I always look, but ultimately it's looking at something every single day and understanding a certain price point, especially for a certain set like Neo Genesis, where you know the print lines are like um, very prevalent and it's very hard to get in a 10. That type of knowledge does not come to a newcomer that's into the hobby. It comes to somebody who like understands the set, but ultimately it's to look up these cards, it's to look up these items. Um, and for me, I, I look up hundreds of them because I wanna know what's going on. There's so much opportunity out there in Pokemon, guys, that you know, just looking up one card or set, um, it, it's just not enough for me to find the deals. And so the more that I can look up, the more, that I'm, the more time I'm willing to put into this stuff, the more that I'm going to be willing to know and differentiate whether something is a deal or not. And for this one, as soon as I pop, it popped up, I knew right away, I pounced on it, and I was able to get to it as compared to if I would just hang out, watch another, you know, um, <laughs> episode on Netflix, you know, or, or getting on Call of Duty and playing more of that. Instead of doing that, I was getting on eBay, I was doing the work, and as a result, within a little bit less than two months, I was able to profit $1,200. So again, not a flex, but it's a reality. The opportunities are out there, and I want you guys to go out there and source them, have fun. If you guys need help, you need a place to start, I do do a series of eBay deals of the day where I share with you guys the best deals that I come across um, to help you guys reach your collection goals quicker. You know, I, I can't buy everything and I wanna share them with you guys, so if you are interested in looking at that, feel free to check it out, it's on the channel. And as always guys, just thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys find value in these videos. I'm just sharing my experience, I'm not a professional, but if you guys do have any questions, I have had some success in uh, buying and selling in Pokemon. And I'm just a, an average regular, regular collector like most of you guys. And so you guys can probably relate. Um, so thanks again for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.